Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel that is AirTech. Hope you all guys are having a fantastic day. Let us begin with our today's video. So our today's video is going to be primarily for the people who are currently working at companies like TCS and Infosys and other IT services companies as, as well. Okay, right now there is a trend that is going on that you should always work at product based companies and if you are working at a service based company, then that is a very bad thing. Okay, so let me tell you guys, we will discuss everything about surrounding these points. Okay, and we will also discuss how to grow at TCS and Infosys. Now, a lot of people might tell me that you always say in your video that you should leave TCS or maybe you should go for other opportunities. Yes, definitely. It may vary from person to person. Okay, depending on the goals that you have and the primary things that you want in your life. Okay, so the next thing that we are going to discuss is planning to stay at TCS or Infosys for more than five years. Okay, what should you do in that case? We recently discussed and collaborated. I mean, uh, we I had a discussion with a person who has experience of more than 20 years at working at a company, service based company. Okay, so I'm going to share that person's experience and opinion, how you can grow at companies like TCS and Infosys. And this video will be really helpful for you guys. If you're planning to stay at any company, okay, not only TCS Infosys, but other companies as well. Okay, so this video is going to be very informative. Make sure that you hit the like button and share it with your friends so that they can also learn a lot from this video. Okay, and please guys don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is very important when it comes to getting the updates about the videos and the posts that we make. Okay, and don't forget to join our Telegram community. We have more than 2000 people who are connected with us on Telegram and here you can ask your questions and doubts and difficulties. Okay, and you will get a solution from other members as well. So let us move forward. The other day I was having a discussion with a person who has been associated with TCS for more than two decades. Okay. So I was discussing about different points and one of the most asked questions I asked to him. Okay. That was what if someone wants to stay at TCS for more longer period of time, for example, five years or 10 years. Okay. So he told me one simple thing that see, if you want to grow at TCS, if you want your package to be increased, if you want to get more onset opportunities, okay, more learning opportunities, okay, and more networking opportunities as well. So in that case, you have to do two things. Okay. The first one is you will have to constantly try to improve what you're doing on. Okay. Suppose you're working on a client project. Okay. You're working on a development application and there are some innovations or there are some suggestions from your side, which will help to improve the overall efficiency. Now I will tell you another perspective to this. Okay. Now what happens is you get certain amount of work. Okay. It can be a sprint form or it can be some uh, like a change request form or some other form, right? So your team, your team or your uh, team lead or your project manager is getting certain amount of work for 10 story points, suppose. Okay. Or maybe 10 days of work you are getting. So you are billing the client for 10 days of that amount of work. Okay. Now what happens is you are, you, if you suggest that this improvement can help the project, it will increase the efficiency of the project or if it will help to reduce the cost to the client. Okay. So in that case, for that additional work, you are not billing the client. Okay. So in that case, most of the managers or the team leads, what they generally suggest is that, that you only work for the work that is given by the client. Okay. Don't spend any other time apart from the work that is been assigned to you and that we are getting money for. So this is what the tendency of the managers and the project, ma uh, project managers or the team leads is okay. In cert certain times. Okay, there can be some project managers which can discuss with the client that we can improve uh, like our tape developer team or our testing team has given this suggestion and we can improve in this particular manner. But this, this number is very small. Okay, and that is the reason if you try to connect with the client or if you try to convince your manager that we should definitely do this, we should take maybe some uh, extra charges from the client or maybe we can do it in other billing cycle. Okay, so you can communicate with the team lead, the project manager and even the client as well. If you have that opportunity to connect with them. Okay, so you can give the suggestions, you can give this innovative ideas. This was the first thing. Okay, now comes the second point that we discussed about was what are the things can help you with your manager and your team leads. Okay, so you should be able to do the work that they are scared to do or that they are feeling lazy to do. Okay, so I will take the same earlier example that there are some certain points which can be improved, but they are feel just because they are feeling lazy. Okay, or they have to do some additional work. That is the reason they are not doing it. Okay. So this is also one point that you should consider while working at any company, not only TCS, but also Infosys, Capgemini, Cognizant, okay, any other company, you should be able to do the work efficiently, which your manager is finding lazy. Okay. So this is another aspect to it. Okay. I will share one more interesting story. Okay. So there was a friend of mine whose friend was actually working at TCS and he was working with some client, okay, PFSI client. Now what happened was that person 
was studying more and more about the business knowledge okay he was gathering the business knowledge and he was acquiring all the things that are happening around and why he was going to the roots of the point okay why they want to implement this thing why are they trying to integrate these two things okay what are the future prospects in this particular field okay bfs a banking and financial insurance domain okay so that person was analyzing continuously continuously okay and what was the client noticing was that this person has the right skills this person has the urge to learn more he has the hunger to learn more and to implement it as well okay so this is how the client offered him a role so what technically happened was the client wanted him on site okay as a team lead so first of all he was working as a developer then the client asked him for on site opportunity i mean tcs uh, like uh, onboarded him as an on site uh, team lead okay and after that after a certain period of time the client was continuously observing him what he is working on how he is improving himself day by day okay what are the things that he is planning for for the next like future prospects as well and after this what happened was that the client offered him a full time role okay but tcs had a bond okay there was a service agreement that you cannot directly join the client okay at that point of time so what the client did was they they had some uh, companies which were like not technically dummy companies but some contract contractual companies which were providing some services to that client okay bfsi client from us so what happened was the person okay this person friend, a friend of my friends uh, so he was already working on site and then he joined that uh, that company okay that contract based company and then he was working for the same thing okay but he was employee for of com contract company just because to avoid the service agreement and all those things okay after one year or one and a half year of time he again joined the client directly okay so then he was working as a feature architect so you can recognize from this he is a full time employee now with that particular bank okay and from this you can analyze that if you are committed if you are dedicated and if you are consistent towards your work then definitely you will get something or the other okay i i'm just telling the story because a lot of people find very comfortable staying at tcs or any other company like tcs infosys maybe or cognizant and that is not a bad thing okay guys you don't always have to switch to get good growth there are some other things as well if you are continuously doing some good things okay in your project or if you are constantly improving uh, the things that are occurring in your project or you are implementing new things which will help uh, the client and to reduce the cost and to increase the overall efficiency then this thing also leads to growth okay and trust me guys that this is very possible okay so you don't have to worry about a lot of the things okay guys just remember that whatever you you are doing it okay put in your 100% efforts and dedication and commitment so that is the only thing that is required i hope that you find something meaningful from this video even if you have some doubts okay guys we are soon going to start a series on on site opportunities leave without pay and a lot of other things okay so if you have some topic that is in the back of your mind and if you want us to make videos on that point we will do the research on that point and we will connect with some people and gather information from them and then we will be sharing it in a video form okay so please let us know in the comment section whatever doubts you have or the points on which you want to make us a video okay till this till then keep watching guys uh, and please subscribe to the channel okay it will help us a lot and it will help you as well whenever we publish some kind of video or a text or message okay or a post okay and i will give the link in the description to join the telegram group you can join the group we have a community of more than 2000 people connected over telegram okay and they are constantly asking questions they are solving doubts a lot of things are happening uh, simultaneously okay thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope you have a great day